Hey guys, so here's the deal. Unfortunately, there's not going to be any new footage for this month in this video because weather here has been an absolute beast. The visibility in the Gulf is wrecked, uh, not even making it worthwhile to head out. Fortunately, I have a huge backlog of previous trips that I never got around to publishing or editing, so we have that to fall back on. And third, I realized that I can actually put out more than two videos a month. My editing workflow has gotten so much better that I know that I can put out at least three, four, maybe five, who knows. Uh, I just need to get out in the water more, get more footage, and we'll see. But for now, enjoy this video from 2021. It's the first dive trip I went out with Shadi, and hope you enjoy. Hey guys, happy holidays. I am currently on my way to Port Hudson to meet up with a guy from the Tampa Freedive Spearfishing page who reached out to me, Chad. But because it is cold, I am making a quick pit stop here at Dunkin' Donuts to get some coffee. Because I'm cold. I am cold. Oh, yeah, better. Much better. So Chadi and um, Matt are in the water already. We're in a very popular spot, apparently. We got boats stretching all along. Yeah, so we're trying to uh, find a spot that's not in anyone's way and uh, hopefully find something we can drop on and catch some fish. First drop, first stop. From the surface, the water was really, really green, making us think that overall, the visibility was gonna be bad that day. But thankfully, once we hit bottom, it was a lot clearer than we had assumed. With it being the end of the year, our target species was gag grouper. We're trying to get a couple before the season closed. And these fish knew it because after a couple drops and not shooting any of them, they were very comfortable around me. So skipping ahead about 10, 15 drops and about an hour later, I realized I really need to get a fish in the cooler. So I spot this good sized mango in the distance and I take my shot. Unfortunately, my shaft gets stuck on something, I don't know what, and watching him skitter away like that weirdly, I thought, oh crap, he, he came off. And needless to say, I was very pleasantly surprised to find him here still on. Good. That looks like a good size. Oh, he's he's good. He's legal. Beach man. Yeah. Yeah. He's fast. Twenty-four. Do you, do you mind if I bring him? Yeah. Okay. There we go. There we go. Found it. Oh yeah. No, go for it. I take I I get out just to get out, but it's more for you guys. 
So chumming the water with frozen fish carcasses from past trips seemed to have worked, because after doing that, there was a lot more life present. I swear I had checked underneath that thing at least five to ten different times and saw absolutely no grouper until now. Pay attention to that white spot where the fish tore off, that'll be important later. Alright, so... I thought I was lining up on another grouper, but you can see how I'm very visibly confused, realizing finally that someone else had already shot it. But thankfully I was there because that grouper was about to rip off. Put it through so the flopper engaged. Oh yeah, remember that fish that almost got away? I got the one I shot earlier. <laughs> yeah, he tore off. I shot one over there and he ripped right off when going this way. I just found him again. So I learned how to hunt fish using an ambush technique, which I didn't learn until years later actually had a term, which is aspetto. The other technique is stalking, which is called aguado, uh, which I don't really like doing because, as I said before, I don't like chasing fish. I like them to come to me. After almost limiting out on group, we decided to push a little further out, a little deeper, to some natural hard bottom, hopefully something that would house different fish. I mean, we, we got enough hogs on this trip, but I, I will never be comfortable shooting them. They're just, they're so dumb. They're just the most docile creatures in the ocean, I feel like. And they're, they're like the good Samaritan of the sea inviting you into their home. Oh, come on in, have a cup of coffee. Uh, have a seat, enjoy yourself. Oh, you shot me. I guess it's my own fault.
That was such a fun trip. It was great linking up with Chadi for the first time. Great to dive with Matt after such a long period. Uh, we were coming about a year off the COVID pandemic, so it was just nice to hang out with people finally. Speaking of people, thank you guys so much for doing what you're doing. If this is your first time here and you like what you saw, want to see more, feel free to subscribe, share, comment, let me know what you think. And even if you didn't like what you saw, I appreciate you guys giving me a chance and stopping by.